Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest version of Firefox Quantum Web Browser which is Firefox 59. It was released today March 14th and it has a few improvements that are of interest uh, basically. So well the first thing that it does is uh, apparently improving speed. So how do you know First of all, if you have the latest version, simply go to the Help tab and look at About Firefox. You should be at 59.0. And if it's not, it should update your browser, by the way. Okay, what's uh, interesting is speed. Apparently, there's improved speed in Firefox Quantum 59. It will load pages faster. And whether uh, the you know content is a cached content, whether it's online content or whatever, Apparently, load times are better. One of the reasons why load times are also better is that it will actually um, use much more of the GPU, including on Mac computers. If you're on Mac OS and you have Firefox 59, you will also have uh, faster load times by using the separate GPU thread. So it actually is an improvement, apparently. Now, is it visible or not? It's kind of difficult to see, but you know i guess browser speed tests will show if it really is you know there's always that promise of faster browsing every time there's a new version of a web browser also when you click a link usually um what happens is that when you go to you know there's a lot of tracking on the internet and when you go to another page or um, you know a website there's all these tracking technologies that are used and that look at where you came from so it knows you know what you visited before when you arrive to that page which you know gives valuable information uh, of you know the things you do and sometimes sometimes it could be sensitive information maybe you don't want them to know that so when you use the private browsing mode in Firefox now that information is stripped that means in private browsing mode if you move from one page to the other they don't know where you came from. That information is not available to anyone. So it is better on privacy if you want to, uh, basically. So this is really, really kind of nice. You can also, uh, in this version, prevent websites from asking whether you want to accept push notifications. You know, you, vis you visit a website and there's often a site that will tell you, oh, by the way, you have uh, notifications of what is happening here. I, I never use that feature. I always find that annoying, and I actually find it annoying when it asks me to do so. So now there's a possibility of simply stopping these annoying messages from popping up in the browser. They've uh, also improved upon the screenshot feature. So when you take a screenshot, uh, they've made it a little better. One of the cool things, of course, is that even though the page is not fully displayed, for example, because of the screen uh, area, which is too small to display everything, you can still save a full page in a screenshot, which is very nice. And of course, you can save just a visible part or just customize the screenshot. But now it also adds a new feature. You can now annotate these screenshots. So you can now, um, you know, go to the screenshots and draw or annotate whatever so you know when you're sharing with other people maybe you're sharing an article from a, a news website to somebody else and you want them to focus on a specific area of the article you can annotate you can you know circle that area and say hey this is where and this is what I want you to see so uh, all sorts of new cool features basically uh, within here so that's the uh, big thing basically in uh, what's happening with Firefox 59 so you know download it maybe get the latest version of Firefox 59 and uh, see what it um, you know um, has to offer to you uh, basically there's a few little things also that are um, made easier for web support for example uh, another reason why you might want to have a Firefox 59 there's quite a number of security fixes in the browser. So that means that the browser is much more um, interesting in the uh, security department, basically. 
So that's why you might want to basically upload in order, or, or upgrade, sorry, to this version of Firefox for sure. So um, that's pretty much what's happening. Uh, there's one little known issue if you're on Windows 7, by the way. There's, uh, if you're using accessibility features uh, with the on-screen keyboard, there might be browser crashes on Windows 7. It's a known issue. So Firefox 59, new web browser available today, March 14th. Check it out if you're a Firefox user. And uh, who knows, you might enjoy using this new browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.